studio, and this one is called Harley's All right, everyone, Odyssey. we're going into uh, yeah. puzzles now. Looking forward to it. I love puzzle yeah. games. Okay. interested in that one i love the art style it's cuter than yeah it's it, it's a cool art style I, i'm all for it um but down it's uh you know uh, i i think getting the gist of what else they want you to do is going to be the main thing but all, all in all it's seems interesting and hassan when he gets mad at someone in chat and when you actually do look at the gameplay, it's almost like a multi-dimensional Rubik's Cube, right? You're trying to actually get the buildings to come together. I, I think that there might be something wrong with me because I always <laughs> think about these like puzzle games and like especially the city building simulation games. And it's like, how could I like make it to where like it drop people into like the lava? Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that's the main thing I would think of. So I Hey, you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with thinking that. It's always, I, I get it, playing those kind of games where you have control over people um, and, and, you know, like uh, kind of their fates, uh, you can get messed up because it's always like, hmm, the developers expect me to act good, right? Like to be nice, you know, follow the rules. But what happens when you start deviating? And again, that's one reason why I teach uh, my area of, uh, you know, field of research and teaching is deviance, right? Like, why do people break away from what the norm is? Because that's so fascinating. Um, okay, but I'm not going to bore y'all too much with that. Let's get back to the show. Uh, that's the, yeah, that's about it. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, man. <laughs> yeah. I think you're fine. By the way, who are you hosting after this? Yeah, sure. Okay. So for the next one, we're going to head over to something made by Improx Games, and it's called The Last Cube. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, I'm usually not a big fan of like uh, these kind of like cube. Uh, I, I, the, the, the type of puzzle. Uh, not, not a huge fan. Sorry. Uh, again, just to be clear, it doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. It it looks well, you know, well crafted. You know, uh, definitely a lot of time put into it it's just the uh, again it's a stylistic um uh okay but preference um not not quite for me but you know still it's hey to each their own right Now, for both Harmony's Odyssey and The Last Cube, they are available for play right now. You can actually download the early demo. So if you want to check them both out, you can do it on Steam. But we're going to take a look at the third game inside of the puzzle category. This one is made by Coin Crew Games, and it is called Escape Academy. Okay. 
What are you waiting for? A room full of memory gas. Are you kidding me? I have to play a game where I escape school? Count me in. Already sold. Easy. No place to relax. potential in you ah there you are okay <laughs> welcome to the academy hmm. interesting um what's up <laughs> it's not the first time my art's been torn to shreds greetings dishonesty has no place at the academy hey there Enough water! They're already hydrated! Okay. My star students. <laughs> what the hell have we gotten ourselves into? Escape Academy! Okay, um... I'm very excited. I think that has uh, some good potential. I, you know, y'all let me know down in the comments. What do you think? You know, how, how do you feel about this? For this one, I'm actually a huge escape room nerd. I love going through and doing them. I actually yeah. do them all the time with my buddy, Will Neff. We do like one a week. So I'm going to be gifting this one to him on Steam when it comes out on July 14th. So if you guys do want to check it out, you want to make sure that you don't miss the release date. It's a little while away. Go ahead, go on to Steam and add it to your wish list so you actually do get notified when it's available. Looks like it has co-op and multiplayer as well. So maybe we can even play against each other. We got one more puzzle game cool. left. This one is very relatable. It's from Insanity Core, and it's called Headless Jeff 3. Oh, the third headlessness. Okay. That's a lot of... Yeah. Oh. We all think uh, we don't think about these kind of graphics, like these kind of more real realistic. I mean, I, I think uh, actually they look pretty good in the game, like, and it flows well with uh, what seems to be the theme, the overall uh, design. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What, what what do y'all think? You know, does this? Because sometimes I know when graph, you know, developers try and make graphics too realistic, like really like uh, high fidelity, high definition, wh whatever. Um, it can sometimes have a negative effect. I don't think that's the case um, in this game. Like, I actually think it looks pretty smooth. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. For Headless Jeff 3, him. there is actually a demo available for download right now, so you can check that out on Steam. I had a chance to play it a little bit earlier before we actually got the game's expo started today, and, and it's a really cool game where you're actually dropping your head in different places so you can try to see what you're doing to complete the puzzle. To talk about that game and everything okay. that you've seen in the yeah, puzzles, yeah. we're going to jump up right now to our professional variety gamers. Ooh, the pros. All right. What does this mean? It means that they play video games. Thank you so much, Rich. Um, we are back, and this is perfect puzzles. And uh, we got the smartest people around here uh, to talk about puzzle games. And Chance, uh, how do you feel about this? Um, well, Rocket Bot Royale champion here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I feel really good about a lot of those games. You know, a lot of solid like puzzles, a lot of mm -hmm. games we have seen before, but it looks like they're taking a new little twist to it. Um, I mean, I'm excited. A lot of them seem like my brains can't handle it, you know. So I'm definitely can't. No, <laughs> neither could yours. Like you're done. Like you're. you're not you gotta love the banter, man. It just shows it uh, carry, a, a real cohesion. Um. All right, Sir. Yeah. How do you feel about him? I, I have to say, I love the last cube. Uh, dynamic Tron-like visuals, mm -hmm. stunning, 
intense. Uh, it looks like there's very, very satisfying results when you actually solve a puzzle, uh, which to me is important great because, to be honest, Chance, I'm not that smart, and I actually really struggle with puzzle games. So when I actually do solve something, I love to have that satisfying like, bring, and everything gets colorful <laughs> when you solve a solve a problem. Well, what? you look at this here. You ever see that piece of paper where you unfold it entirely? It's a cube. It's shaped like a cross almost. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, you look at this. It looks. It, my head starts to hurt trying to land the symbols onto the right. You yeah. know, things on the mm. floor. It just seems like you're a, old. You wouldn't be able to do it either. Shut I your could. mouth. Bruce, as you're the youngest, older. as the youngest up here, Bruce, how do you feel about the last two? All cube? of these games have in common. What? Like, all of these games Here we go. are the type of game that I will put on and yell at my chat for not helping me find the right path. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But being the pro. Yeah, I mean, yeah. For Hey, if you have that kind of following, you got those kind of people willing to help you out, then uh, yeah, take advantage of it, man. Like, And that's part of the fun is being able to work with chat, you know, have chat help you out. I think that's cool. Um, yeah, it, it totally works, you know. So, good on him. I, I, I think that's a good. <laughs> I think that's a good strat to say the least. <laughs> all right, let's let's keep going. Pro Tilto Gamer, it's all about making the right choices at the yep, right yep. time. And I feel like the last cube. I used to play this in a computer lab too, but they added different elements. Uh, uh, I really like that. What is that? You see the way it's moving? The d d yeah, the little diagonal. Like that's, I don't even know what's going on. Wait a minute. Here, so we are supposed to be the variety experts, and yeah. us three have admitted <laughs> we cannot solve these puzzles. Y'all yeah. three, not me. What is that? What is that <laughs> maneuver? So right, right. I don't know. This game is interesting because it. it you have to be careful hurts, what you admit to. Watching someone that seems to know what they're doing. I, I've, it's, it sure. looks hard. How did you feel about uh, Headless Jeff Three? Uh, I, I was like actually it. a bit confused. Is it like? You have the robot, and then you have the head point of view as well in it's Headless Jeff. Pretty Jeffrey? much a robot missing his head, trying to find his head without his eyes, I think, like, well, in I, a way. I think what's going on there, um, if we can get Headless Jeff up here, it, it, it seems like you take huh. your head off and you right. place it down, and you control where the perspective is. Okay. So you can't, it seems like maybe you can't solve the puzzle right now. You need to put yeah. your head down yeah. like it's a camera. Oh. And then you see, and now you solve it. So yeah. it's a fun control of perspective and... See, so he's going to pick his so head up, you, pick up the camera. Can you throw your head? I don't know, maybe. And you um, have to use your hmm. head as a problem-solving tool probably multiple times. Maybe. Yeah, it looks, again, it looks like a really fun, unique puzzle game. I'm cool to see this here. Looks yeah. like the movie Robots, too. I like that movie. Yeah, it's cool art style oh. as well. And how do you guys feel about uh, Harmony's... Respect, Robots. Um, how many of y'all have seen that, right? Uh, let me know in the chat. That's a phenomenal movie way back when. Uh, Oh man, I'd forgotten all about it. Oh, crazy. Okay. Odyssey. It's uh, it has a ton of like uh, cute puzzles and brain teasers. How do you feel so about that? So that's like Bruce? classic spot the difference situation. Going I on, told right? you that while we were watching because you didn't know what you were looking. Yeah, and, right, so and it's taking wait, my what? No, and chance wait, that what was, happened. No, no, no. I made the observation that it was a classic comparison game, and I told that to Chance. I had to explain Sarah, it to him. Definitely. I think you might actually just be copying everything Chance does. <laughs> Are you guys comparing notes? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, should I be here? I don't think so at this point. Bruce, what do you think? I think you should be here. And I also about Thank this you. game, I like the fact that it's like something that you can play with friends. Right on. You want to get your friends involved in the late night. You know what I'm saying? How do you get yeah. those? Put it on the monitor. Like be like friends? Kind of everyone that sits around. I have none. Do you have friends? Dude, shut up. So you're sitting in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> and you just put it on the screen, and the friends are all looking, you know, trying to spot the difference. Yeah. I played a game like that recently, and it's, mm -hmm. it's actually really fun. It's like, where's Waldo? Yeah, where's We're taken Waldo? to the next level of, you know, this third-person game. Yeah. So, um, in the final game was Escape Academy. It's like, uh, that was scary. I really liked it. <laughs> you do? How do you feel about it? To be honest, it just reminds me of one of those games that didn't trap themselves in a box of being in one room and being that only level. Yeah. yeah, that's why I was really interested in it because Japan, Greece, you could go to different places in the world and escape the room. Yep. Pretty hard. It's, oh, that's what that was. Yeah, this game. Remember, we played the game called We Were Here. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. It's like that a lot. Only you know they've got. It seems like they have a lot really in-depth story to it. So it's a, it's an escape room. You know, it's called Escape Academy, and it's just that fun little take on it where you gotta escape Makes the room sense. with a fun story. Um, I, I, I think a lot of streamers are going to be playing this game because oh, yeah. it's very fun games to stream, but also 
just puzzle people, you know, our friend yeah. Pluto loves going to escape rooms. You can do it at home now. Yeah. These games oh, yeah. are great. Absolutely, absolutely. Do, do you want to play that game with me? No. Okay. <laughs> well. I'll oof. play with you. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, that's all good. good. See, that's right, you always uh, got friends. You have making friends. friends, meeting friends, that's what OTK is all about, and these puzzle games are absolutely awesome. Mm, Guys, don't that. forget to go vote <laughs> in the Discord OTK network. Uh, vote for your your. Yeah, for um, and again in the comments, I'd love to hear what y'all's uh, favorite opinions were. But yeah, the voting phenomenal. I think it's fantastic. I think it's important. So, yeah, uh, seriously, uh, puzzle games, pretty awesome. Love to hear it. Love to see it. Let's keep going. Favorite here, and uh, guys, we will be right back after this quick break. Man, those puzzle games looked absolutely fantastic. And I actually have a friend who I, I think he's watching right now. I would love to watch him stream those puzzle games. He used to be really good at a game called Diablo, but he kind of fell off. So hopefully he finds some success playing those puzzle games. Maybe he'll okay. be able to beat them. But now it's time to look at a brand new Shroud, category. Honestly. This is one that I think all of the people in this room right now really kind of met each other Ooh, through wow, games nice. like this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at RPGs. Awesome. Hey, love RPGs. That's my jam. Uh, especially if you add the uh, letters MMO in front of them, I'm all sold. So, yeah, puzzle games, all right, pretty interesting. I, I think you got some strong contenders. Uh, I really, uh, like I said, uh, there's, you know, I think the first one really in particular and the Escape Academy uh, stood out to me. But right it's hey uh i'd love to hear what y'all's uh personal preferences are you know and and why do you, why uh why these games you know so let me know down in the comments um feel free shoot it up and you know i love to chat more so alrighty. 